Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to open camera app on your Windows 11 computer. So when you try to open it, you see this lock icon with gray background. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So simply restart your computer and after the system restart, try to open the camera and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Still you're facing the problem. In that case, find a physical hardware button on your computer. So Many computer has a button which you can press or slide to enable or disable the camera. So if your computer came with any kind of button on the side or in front uh, and you can go ahead and press it or slide it to enable or disable camera. Now the next step is for MSI laptop users. So for few model number, when you press Fn plus F6 on the keyboard, it will enable or disable the camera. So you can use this Fn plus F6 on the keyboard. Now the next step is for Asus computer, so if you have Asus computer, for few model number, when you press F10, that will enable or disable the camera. So you can try this. Now, if you have a HP laptop, it has a camera kill switch on the side of the laptop. So you will find a camera kill switch like this. So you have to slide it to enable or disable the camera. So if your model number has this kind of a button, then try this. Now the next step is to is for Lenovo users. So for few model number, when you press F8, which will enable or disable the camera. Now in few model number, if your Lenovo computer has this application installed, that is Lenovo Vantage app. So if this is installed, open this application and you can go ahead and enable your camera from Lenovo Vantage app. Now in some laptop, I don't know the brand, but in some laptops where you can see the camera on the top, on the lid, it has a sliding lens cover. So you have to go ahead and slide it to uncover the lens and which will help you to fix the problem. Now the next step is to make sure camera access is on in privacy settings. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on privacy and security. Scroll down and here you can see camera, click on camera. Now make sure camera access is on over here. And you can also enable this which says let apps access your camera. And make sure it is on in privacy settings. Now the next step is to run camera troubleshooter for this. Go to the start menu then click on settings. Now click on system. Scroll down here you can see troubleshoot option. Click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooters. Now over here you can see camera option. So click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to check your camera. Now the next step is to reset camera app. For this you can type in camera app in Windows search box and then make a right click on camera app then click on app settings. Now scroll down. Here you can see the reset option. So click on reset, reset, and after the reset, try to open the camera. Now the next step is to disable or enable the camera. For this, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager to open device manager. Now over here, you have to go ahead and expand imaging device or you will find camera. So in my case, I have both. So you will find either cameras or you will find imaging device. So under the imaging device, you will find your camera or under cameras. So make a right click and then click on disable device. Click on yes. Now again, make a right click and then click on enable device. And then try to open the camera. Now the next step is to allow the camera and browser access to your antivirus program. In some antivirus, you have an option to allow camera and browser access. Now, if you don't, don't have any third party antivirus and if you don't have this option, you can skip this step. You can also disable your antivirus program till the time you're using the camera. Once you're done using the camera, you can always enable your antivirus program. Now, the next step is to update camera driver from device manager. For this, make a right click on the start menu, then click on device manager. Again, open camera. So expand cameras or if you don't have cameras, then expand imaging device. If So find your camera over here and then make a right click on your camera then click on update driver 
then click on browse my computer for drivers then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select usb video device and then click on next and after the installation restart your computer and then check your camera now the next step is to uninstall camera driver and restart your computer so make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager again expand camera or imaging device make a right click then click on uninstall device click on uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and during the system restart the windows will install the default driver for camera and then you can go ahead and try to check your camera now the next step is to update your camera driver from your system manufacturer website so whichever brand you have so if you have hp computer go to hp website if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website so go to your system manufacturer website for example if you have lenovo, lenovo computer this is just an example go to lenovo website select your model number make sure that you select your model number and then go to manual update and then find your camera driver so click on camera and, and then install the camera driver from here download it and then install it restart your computer and then check your camera if you have dell computer select your model number and then go to drivers and download and then you can select drivers over here and then find the camera driver so find the camera driver download it install it restart your computer and then check your camera so whichever brand you have go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number and then install the driver camera driver now sometimes camera is disabled in system bios so in dell computer uh, when you start the computer keep on tapping f2 it will take you to the system bios now for different brands the bios key may be different so this is just an example so in my computer for dell computer when i start the uh, computer immediately if you keep on tapping f2 it will take you to the system bios for other brands there might be some other key so go to your system bios and make sure the camera is on in your system bios now the next step is to update your windows 11 make sure that your windows is up to date so go to settings go to windows update then click on check for update and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then check your camera now the next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply in my case this is grayed out i already did it so put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply then click on ok you will see the restart option restart a computer and then launch the camera now the next step is to update your system bios again go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website again select your model number then from the list select system bios and then download the bios download and install it so similarly if you have lenovo you can find the system bios go to manual update and find bios download it and after the download install it now before you update your system bios make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer in case of laptop so make sure the power code is connected and the battery is more than 10 percent and then install the bios and during the system bios update it will restart your computer so do not unplug the power cable so let the bios update complete then after the bios update it will take you to the login screen login to your computer and then check your camera now the next step is to perform system restore for this type in system restore and then click on create a restore point and then click on system restore now select choose a different restore points then click on next select the date and time on which date the camera was working fine suppose you started facing this problem today so you can select the date and time for yesterday or maybe day before yesterday so you can select the restore point on which date the camera was working fine then click on next and then click on finish after the system restore use your camera uh, the next step is to reset your computer so if nothing is working you can reset your pc now this will result in data loss so make sure that you back up your data before the reset to reset go to the start menu then click on settings now go to windows update and then click on advanced options here you can see the recovery option click on recovery 
click on reset this PC, click on reset PC. Now here are two options, keep my files, remove everything. Keep my files will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. Remove everything will remove all your personal files, application and setting. So select the option which you want. And then click on local reinstall, then click on next and let the reset complete. After the reset, you have to set up your computer once again. You have to start it from the scratch and then check your camera. The last step is to run hardware test. So if nothing is working, then you can run the hardware test for camera. So maybe there is some hardware failure with camera. So in that case, you might have to replace the camera. So one of the steps should help you to get your camera working on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.